we're here at the Genting Arena backstage and you can see the dressing rooms, we've got people's dressing rooms. There's going to have been some very big stars and performers behind these very doors. We're here today to catch up with comedian Jack Whitehall, all about his tour, his UK tour, the biggest ever, Jack Whitehall at large. It's not very often you actually get to interview someone that you're genuinely a fan of. So, Mr. Jack Whitehall, hello. Hey, how are I've you? I've just admitted my love to you, oh, as, a, you very as, much. A, as a fan, so you're wonderful. Thank oh, you very thank much. Thank you. You put me on a good footing for the beginning of this interview. I set, really like you. Set it up nicely. Yeah. So, let's you. talk about your tour, first of all. Jack Whitehall at large. Yeah. Here in Birmingham this evening. Yeah, but yeah. you are coming back to us, so you're going to be back on the 26th. Yeah, I'm coming back on the 26th, so a nice long gap in between the two gigs, which is really convenient for. I mean, my tour Travel. was literally like people just pointing at a map and going, yeah, we'll put in there then, and then Glasgow, and then Brighton, and then Birmingham. But we won't do them one night after another. We'll do them like two weeks apart. So. What is the thing? Is that just to like drag it out so people have got to really wait for when you come back? They're like, build the suspense. Yeah. Let's go with that, and yeah. not the fact that my promoters underestimated my popularity in this <laughs> city and thought that I would only be able to sell one night. So then they added one at the end. That's, that's always good. So that's, how, that's less good. So we are, um, this show is half an hour, so we don't have time to talk about it all in terms of your, yeah. your, your Ta everywhere. I can't take you through it joke by joke. No? Okay, no. <laughs> don't have enough material. <laughs> no, it's mainly just gimmicks and sketches. But you do a lot of, we've seen you on the telly, we've seen you presenting bits and bobs. Touring compared to TV, what's the, how does that compare? Obviously the obvious one, but apart from that, is there one you prefer more? Obviously now like, back touring, after doing a lot of TV. Yeah, I like the immediacy of it and the kind of, the fact that anything can happen. Whereas with, when you're with TV, you do it and then someone else will take it away and they will edit it and a director will do notes and then a lawyer will view it and then a BBC lawyer will view it and you know, it goes through so many levels of editing and, and sometimes the finished product is not anything that you can really even remember and it will go out 12 months later, whereas with stand-up, you know, it's just you and an audience and, and you're in complete control. And I love that things can go wrong and things can change. And you mentioned I did a gig in Leeds and uh, the set caught fire. The, one of the pyrotechnics went off wrong and the set became a blaze. Yeah. And I was there trying to do the show and then realised that there were these flames behind me and all the audience were coughing. And, and then I had to put out the fire and carry on with the show. And, you know, like stuff like that, which, you know, sounds quite traumatic, is actually brilliant because it keeps it different and it keeps it fresh and it keeps you interested and so that's why doing it live is so good. Well you've presented bits and bobs and we've seen you at kind of events and that kind of thing. Is that like, for you, like a dream gig? Like you're like, I'd love to work with this person, I'd love to present beside this person, I'd love to like live with this person. Mm. Is there something like that you've got? Something I'd like to present or, I don't know, you don't have to say this show. Maybe it's all the, good. the what? Sorry. You don't have to say this show. That you have oh, yeah. the obligation to say. This. No, no. That is the the, the main the one that I really wanted to do was, was to this, present was um, made television. Made te always, yeah. That's your one. One day. We'll swap over afterwards. We'll swap over okay. afterwards, and I'll. I am not going to be able to read your questions because I mean that is the writing of a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. I'm left handed. <laughs> really, really, you're left handed. You can see the bit of the smudge. And that's as well. with your good hand. Yeah. I'd love to see it with the bad hand. Awful. It is really serial killery. Is that bad? Yeah. Like the arrows and the things and the... So in that I don't want to make you feel conscious about No, that's about your how my brain works. Don't worry, mine is very similar. Okay. I know I am a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> the best time to admit it now, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it's out there now. Your yeah. um, British Comedy Awards, so you did, you, you won three in a row, didn't you? Yes. So the 2012-2014, is that yeah. right? And then they got rid of the award. Oh. I won it three times. And, no, not just the award, the awards, uh, the whole thing. They got rid of it. Was it because they were fed up of you winning? What was going on? Well, again, we can pick which narrative we want. Yeah. Maybe let's go with the one that they just thought no one was ever going to top this. So they just went, just that's wait. it. From the that's river. it, it's peaked. That's it, it's peaked. And let's not go with the other narrative, which is it wasn't getting any viewing figures, so they oh. killed the show. <laughs> well, because within <laughs> these like comedy circles, yes. you must have like friends who are also... Because essentially, in a way, you are kind of... Competing in terms of like obviously different audiences and stuff, but you're yeah. all doing the same job. But can you like, do you have any like clangers you can drop some like anyone that you on a regular occasion would go to the pub with from the comedy world? Um, I I spent a bit of time actually in the lead up to this tour with Russell Howard. Yeah. Who was do, who's doing a very similar tour, sort of just after mine finishes. So 
he had a new material night, so I went and did new material at his night and sort of spoke to him throughout the process of putting on this tour and you know comparing notes and talking about it and stuff, which is really useful because you know it's good to have other people that are in a similar situation to you and you talk about different venues and you know the material and how you're working it out and which clubs are good to go to and try things out and so you know that was quite that was quite useful and uh, and Bishop as well, John Bishop, I spoke to him a lot who's also doing a tour this year. So it's good, it's, it's nice to have other people that are doing similar things and you know you can talk to them and ask them for advice and, and stuff like that, so yeah. That's nice to have. Now, I've heard you talking about you have a big finale you've talked about with this yeah. tour. What does this, obviously, I mean, don't ruin it, please, yeah. but like, what, what's this big finale all about? So your last tour, you did something with The Lion King, you love The Lion King, yeah. which everyone knows. So is there going to be any of this? I mean, what is this big finale? Oh, what could about? it be? What is the big finale? Whoa. Well, I mentioned rabies and how I'm immune <laughs> from it. So I've got a dog, a rabid dog. Yeah. And it's basically like Ashley and Pudsey, except <laughs> with a dog with rabies. It's going to be bringing out an audience. Yeah. Okay, that's made up, but I'm not going to tell you what the finale is, but it is a big musical number. Yeah. I don't sing, thankfully, but there is music. There's something called a confetti dump. Great. Which sounds not very nice. Sounds awful. That doesn't yeah, sound bad. It, yeah, it's, yeah. Actually really, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. And then there's music and lights. and I'm underselling it. It's really good. Well, your people should come. So it's you're really fun. Back in Birmingham on the 26th. 26th. Thing. At what? the Barclay Card Arena. Barclay Card Arena. I can't say that very loudly because we're currently in the Genting Arena. Yeah. And they're probably rivals. Both brilliant spaces. Both brilliant spaces. Yeah, that's how we do it. Um, what can people, just summarise, what can people expect from this tour? They come in, they want to buy tickets. Faux pas. Faux pas. I, don't know, I pointed at you to reference. Am, am I, the, I'm know, not a social not faux pas. pas. <laughs> you're not a faux pas, but you know, you mentioned them earlier. Faux pas. Yeah. A big musical fun finale. Inappropriate jokes. Good. A bit of the royal family. Jamie Redknapp getting thrown under the bus. My dad in a dogging sketch. And that's it. That's all you I mean, need. There's others, there's more stuff. That's, that's all you need. Don't need to give us any more. That is perfect. Yeah. Well, of course, Jack Whitehall, uh, back in Birmingham on the 26th. You can head a line to uh, have you a look at tickets Lion now. You didn't mention Lion King. Lion King, do you want to talk about Lion no, King? No, no, no. I just saw it circled on your serial killer notes. We can talk. This is, there's nothing more to This is who I'm coming for next. Yeah, that's I like that. That's, that's target. Like, that's don't target. forget that. Do you want to, you don't want this to one is a lot better. You like this card? Yeah. This is better. This is a lot better. See, this was the final. You spelled Chris Akabusi wrong. I really struggled. I really struggled. Chris with a K. Is it? Famously, Chris with a K. Oh. And you, oh no, it's the double whammy. Chris Kamara with a C and Chris Is oh, it? Akabusi with a C. Oh. oh, I've actually really ruined this, haven't I? Wrap I've ruined the, the end this of this. Up. We're finishing this. Wrap this Thank up. you very much, Jack Whitehall, for basically rubbish interview. That's what happened. No, Thank the you interview much. is great. This. It's been a pleasure. Do you want to take that with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is for the confetti dump. Thank that you very much. That is a confetti dump. <laughs>